Well, hello there, viewers and voyeurs with Got That Funk, and I've been meaning to do a video of this sort of nature pretty much ever since I started my channel, but, uh, you know, I procrastinate to the point of ridiculousness. Anyway, so finally, after six years plus, uh, here I am to make this video. Um, lots of times when I used to do Q&A videos, uh, people would say, you know, what did you used to look like or whatever, you know, what did you look like with hair is the more common one. And... Uh, yeah, so I've got a, uh, a few pictures here. Uh, I'm going to show you the evolution of Got That Funk. But rather than to say, you know, start off with baby pictures and shit like that and uh, work my way older, I thought it might be more interesting to go the other direction. Um, and unfortunately, in my collection of photographs here, there's huge periods in my life where I virtually didn't have any photographs taken of me at all. And those that were taken of me were taken by other people. So I don't actually possess the, the camera. I mean, the, uh, the pictures myself, so, you know, girlfriends and, and so forth, but if they still exist, would still have those photographs. Anyway, so lots of, lots of my teen years are missing. Lots of my early twenties are missing, which is a real bummer because in my early twenties, I used to have all sorts of really outrageous hairstyles and really loud clothes and stuff and really cool muscle cars. And I don't have any record of any of that. And it fucking pisses me off. But anyway, without further ado, uh, let's just get into it. Now, um, I want to, uh, demonstrate to you how much I've changed over the years. So I thought I'd go back uh, you know, a significant amount. This one comes from, I think, 2004. Oops. As you can see, I've changed a great deal since then. So that's 11 years ago. This is me getting a tattoo in 2002. So you see, uh, uh, the shaved head look um, basically means you don't, you don't uh, change outwardly as much as you might expect. Anyway, um, I'm going to put my finger over my ex's face because I didn't get her permission to show her face on the internet, and I think that would be unkind. But um, I just did want to show you a couple of photographs of my wedding day in 2001 because I think I looked fabulous that day, though I say so myself. Um, the outfits were great. This is my first wedding day. We got married over the whole weekend, and um, this was my Saturday wedding outfit. As you can see, I got married in bondage gear. And I especially wanted to show that because I mentioned that to the Peach once in a uh, in a blog TV, and she didn't necessarily take me seriously and wanted to see a photograph. So Peach, I hope you get to see this video. And that was me in my bondage gear on my wedding day. Here's a, a full length shot of it, and, and look at her outfit as well. Uh, I have to say, pretty special, though I say it myself. We got married over the whole weekend, and the second day on the Sunday, uh, we married each other. Uh, the first day was like a registry office wedding and then the second day we, we officiated our own wedding and married each other in a in a ruined chapel uh, with a holy fountain coming out. Yeah, it was a really nice day actually. And this was my outfit for my second wedding day that day. Yes, that's a sarong. Yes, I got married in sandals. Yes, I've got one of those thingies painted on my forehead. So that was 2001. Um, I started shaving my head in 1996. This photograph here comes from, I think, looking at the ear piercings, I'd say 1998. So that's me. Now, as you can see, the shaved head thing is one thing, but look how much younger I looked then. I should look younger then. It's fucking 17 years ago. But, um, yeah, I think it's a pretty... Uh, I wish I still looked like that, basically. Uh, this one's from 1995. All right, this is me and my little girl on her first birthday, so that'll be 1991. Hey, you got to see these trousers, man. I got to back that up a bit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Rainbow plaid with silver sparkles. Yeah, uh, I just had to have that. Uh, this is 1991 again, I think. Me and my little girl. And even though you can't really see my face, I just couldn't resist showing you this picture. This is me and my girl. My kids used to love me throwing them around and flipping them and doing all sorts of stuff. And this is a great picture, I think. It's me and my daughter. And uh, I don't know if you can see the look on her face, but she's having a great time there. It's me and my boy in 1991 as well. And uh, that's obviously the mustache and goatee look. This is... I think shortly after that. 
Then we're going to go back to 1989. Is that right? This one? Either 89 or early 1990. It wasn't long after I moved to the UK anyway. This is what I used to look like. Obviously, I'm pulling a face there. That's not my natural expression. But look at all that hair, man. Uh, I, I was one of those people that when I started going bald on the top, I, um, I overcompensated by letting my hair grow out on the back. So virtually, that, that's a, a, a bald guy with a mullet is what that turns into. Not such a good look, I don't think, really. I liked having long hair, though. Um, I wish the lighting on this picture was better, but this is me in 1986. So there's me with some short hair. And I'm afraid we have to skip all the way back now to 1979. I'm 17 years old in this picture. Check out this feathered hairstyle. That's my graduation picture. And though I say it myself, I think I was the most handsome boy in my class. Not that you'd think so from the reactions I got from women at school. I never, ever, 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 ever had a girlfriend when I was in school. So that was 1979. This one comes from 1972, I think. I was 10 years old when I was on the Orioles. This is me uh, getting ready to go play Little League. Yep, I like that picture. This is me and my kid sister. Most of the pictures of me when I was a kid include my sister because when you've got two kids more or less the same age, you always take pictures of them together, especially before the digital camera age. Uh, you know, people didn't take a thousand photographs like they do now. Um, Anyway, so this is me at the age of eight, and my sister there would have been seven here. Getting ready to go be the host for the, uh, the Christmas play at school. All right, and uh, well, there's another one. Yeah, this is me at, I think, yeah, six. I caught my first fish. My kid sister there as well. Yep. Yeah. And uh, you can see that fish was puny. It was literally like half an inch longer than the minimum, than, than, than the, you know, the, the, the limit. It's bad, real bad. This is me at the age of four, so this would be 1966. That's right. As you can see, just, you know, just go left, right, left, right, left, right. Yeah, you can see it. I, I, well, I practically haven't changed. Um, there's another one of me and my kid's sister, little sailors. Interestingly, my sister grew up and joined the Navy. She was in the Navy for about seven years, as I recall. This is me at the age of three. Look at those flood pa pants, man. I mean, I guess back in those days, uh, you just couldn't buy clothes for your kids until they were absolutely didn't fit anymore. And if you can still get it around the waist, I guess that still works. This is me at, I think, like... Uh, two and a half. So that would be Christmas of 1965. Okay. This is 1963. I was one in some bits. Toddler Paul. And uh, this is me in 1963 when I was still in rubber riches. And uh, I'm not sure if that's a pacifier I've got in my mouth or what. So there you go. A trip down memory lane. I wish I had some uh, teen photos and some early 20s photos. It would have been really interesting. But uh, if, I, if I ever get any uh, or if I can turn some up, I'll maybe do another video. I don't know. Thanks for watching this one. Um, please leave your comments down below. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Peace.